Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Thursday. I am making my breakfast. I have scrambled eggs and toast, and we are all out of jam, so I also need to add that to my list. It's so nice outside, you guys, so I have the windows open. I have the window open right here in the dining room and then also here in the kitchen. And it's letting in all this cold, fresh air, and it's wonderful. I love it. I'll probably close the windows a little bit later though because it's gonna get like it's gonna get up to 78 today and I don't want to let that warm air in so of course I'll close it later but it's just so nice to finally be able to open the windows I haven't been able to open the windows in so long because it's been so hot but it's really nice you guys fall is coming I'm so happy I am so tired of summer and hot weather you guys just so tired of it anyways I'm wearing another Halloween shirt this one says perfectly wicked. You probably can't see the bottom. There you go. Perfectly wicked. I got this last year at Torrid. And I'm going to make my coffee. I'm going to use another Halloween mug. I'll use this Nightmare Before Christmas mug. It has Jack and Sally. It says Nightmare Before Christmas. And then when you fill it up with hot liquid, these images will appear. I love this mug. I got it at the Disney store. They still have it. I just got it recently this year do you guys see the refrigerator light it's like um, going out but I don't know how to fix that light because it's like an LED panel it's not like the regular light bulb where you can just switch out the light bulb so do I have to call someone to have them come and replace it or is that something I can do on my own I have no idea if any of you guys know please let me know because I have no idea why did I put the creamer away though? Did I put the creamer away? I think I did. I haven't even used it yet. Did you see the light was back on? So sometimes the light works and sometimes it doesn't. And there's actually like two panels. There's one at the top and then there's one down there. And then also the one in the freezer is the same. So they're like all in sync. So if the one in the fridge is flickering, the one in the freezer will be flickering. But yeah, let me know if any of you guys have experienced that, if you guys know how to fix it. Maybe I just need to call Sears and have them replace it. I don't know. It would be nice if I could just change it myself. Okay, so today's plan. I finally get to go to Costco today. I'm going to go to Costco after work. And then I'm going to come home and I think I'll just cook dinner after well, I don't know. I might cook dinner before we go to Costco or after I go to Costco. I don't know. We'll see. Hi, Mello. Mello always wants a belly rub. You always want a belly rub? Come on, let's go. Want to play? Want to play? <laughs> let's go outside. Come on. Go outside. Go outside. Let's go. So we're going to have longanisa for dinner tonight and I'm going to cook it right now so that I don't have to cook it later. AJ and I are at Costco. We are. And Vanessa stayed home with Mello. She's there. She's there. She didn't want to come anyway. She hates going shopping with me because she's very impatient and I take way too long. <laughs> but AJ has a lot of patience so he's my shopping partner. Can you grab us a cart please? So let's see how well I can stick to my list. I actually have a lot of things on my list, but I'm not going to be able to get everything because I got to stick to the budget, you guys. So whatever I don't get today, I'll get next month. The spam is cheaper at our Costco because I swear it was like $19.99, but it says it's $17.99 and then it's $4 off. So it's down to $13.99. Good thing spam is on my list. This is a very beautiful sight. I see it's Christmas. Oh my gosh, this tree is so pretty. No. Oh, I love it. The Hennessy is $62.99. Didn't it used to be only like $59? Or am I tripping? Because I think it went up $3, I think. Ooh, what is that? That looks good. Mixed berry mousse. This looks really good. Not on my list. But this, however, is on my list gonna get some kimchi this is $7.69 for this big thing of kimchi big jar look at these you guys cinnamon toast crunch bites have any of you guys tried these 
These look so good. They're kind of like those things they sell at Taco Bell, the Cinnabon Cinnamon Delight. I'm, I'm thinking it's similar to that, but let me know if you guys have tried this before. It's $8.99 at Costco. Okay, so we're back from Costco. I have two receipts here because I actually forgot something and we had to go back inside. So the first time we went in, I spent $138.56 and my budget today was $140. So I was like super happy. I was like, yeah, I didn't go over the budget. Then I realized we forgot the Hawaiian rolls. So we went back inside and that was $4.85. So I went over like $4, that's fine. So we got fruit snacks for the kids. Hawaiian rolls, it comes with two, and it's $4.85 for two. And then we wanted to try the Izzy sparkling juice, and this was on sale, so we got that. The Madelines were also on sale. I was supposed to get ketchup, but I chose Madelines instead. <laughs> okay, I got some vegetable oil. I got some more contact solution. I am all out. I got this package of breaded chicken patties. And then Spam. Kimchi. We got the Cottonelle wipes. These ones were on sale for 12 something, so I decided to get this one instead. And then I got Cottonelle toilet paper and the Kirkland paper towel. So for dinner we had longanisa, and I had mine with kimchi, and it's really good, you guys. <laughs> kimchi, longanisa, rice, and vinegar, so good. So AJ just found out today that his... Hi, Mello. <laughs> that their band is going to Disneyland again next year march 23rd you said right mm -hmm. they're leaving here on march 23rd but <laughs> we're not going to be able to go i am going to send aj i'll pay for him to go but since it's so close to our disney cruise we're not going to be able to go so i'm kind of sad i won't be able to see him if any of you guys want to go you guys can go and then send me a video please you should vlog too while you're there. Maybe. Maybe. And then send me your footage so I can put it in my vlog. <laughs> Maybe. Comment down below if you guys want AJ to vlog at Disneyland next year. <laughs> there's gonna be a fundraiser, you said? Yeah. So there's gonna be a fundraiser for his band trip. Is it selling chocolate? Yeah. I don't know anybody. <laughs> you can go to the gas station and or the grocery store and then ask people if they wanna buy chocolate. There's there's these kids that always sell chocolate at the gas station and I've already gotten candy from them I think twice because I can never say no. I feel so bad Plus it was like so hot and they were out there and I just felt so bad So by the time you guys are watching this it'll be Friday and it's actually my friend Lainey's son's birthday His name is Austin and he is turning 13 years old. All right. That's so cool, right? What does it feel like to be 13? Do you remember? No Anyways, I want to wish you a very very happy birthday Austin I hope you have an amazing day and I hope to meet you one day when whenever we go back to Florida happy birthday Happy birthday Check this out you guys. I literally waited until the last minute to get more solution This is my last bottle and there's probably one or two more days left in here, but I'm gonna open up a new bottle and Put this in the medicine cabinet and then I'll finish this probably today or tomorrow and the next day. I really like that it comes with a little travel bottle and then it comes with two um, contact cases so I'll change out my case when I start the new bottle. I actually bought this one a while ago, the Costco brand, because I wanted to try it out because it comes with three big bottles and it's way cheaper but I didn't like it. It was drying out my eyes so I don't use this anymore but um, I let Vanessa use it to make slime. So that's for her. She has one bottle left. She's already, I think she's used one full bottle. She might be on the second bottle right now. Tomorrow Ariel has to go to work super early. What time do you start? 8 o'clock? Or 7? He starts at 7 and you guys open at 8, right? Yeah. For the new iPhone. So he has to be there really early. Yeah. That means I have to take the kids to school. But luckily tomorrow I start at 9 so it won't even be a problem. I mean, even if I started work early, and I had to take the kids to school, I would just start later because I could make my own schedule, kind of. Um, it's just that some days we're not allowed to start work like at a specific time. Just because if there's not a lot of work, they don't want you to start work early and then not have anything to do. So most of the time we start at eight, but sometimes nine. Anyways, my stomach hurts so bad, you guys. Um, 
my stomach just always gets like this whenever I'm about to get my period. My stomach is just like, it's like twisting in knots and it just hurts really bad. I have a feeling I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, but right now I, it just hurts. Like I don't have to do anything, it just hurts. <sighs> I wish I had a heating pad or something or like a hot water bottle that I could put on my stomach because that always makes it feel better. I did drink some ginger ale, but I wanna like heat up my stomach. Good evening everyone, it is super late and it's time to go to sleep. I have work super early tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night!